So this, so for the second short story with Horikita, which is titled "An Unconscious Awakening," what do you guys think that means? What are your, what are your predictions? Everyone has just been saying, "Yo, this is the, this is the chapter when she realizes that she has feelings for Ayana Koji." That's basically what everyone's been saying, and I feel like it could be true because given the progression of the series thus far right year three is right around the corner and um horikita's it's, it's it's inevitable that she's going to catch feelings at some point so i think if we're gonna start at some point this this volume would be the ideal volume to introduce her feelings for ayana koji so like in this volume, she starts to realize her feelings. In the next volume, Ayana Koji takes on Nagumo, he beats him, and he, and he switches classes. Wait, will he switch classes? I don't know. But I feel like we need to start setting up um, the necessary things before Ayana Koji switches classes. I don't think Kinugasa should make Ayana Koji switch classes and then Horikita falls for him. I think she should fall for him before which makes him switching classes all the more impactful. An unconscious awakening, I guess the awakening of her would be getting to class A, beating Sake and Nagi, she is the most uncharacterized in love. But then again, but then that wouldn't really correlate with the name, you know? I hope she doesn't fall for him, stay as friends. You know, you know, you know better than anyone that this series has been taking a massive plummet into the harem. This is becoming the harem series. It's becoming harem of the elite. You know damn well she's gonna fall for him. If anything, didn't she already display feelings for Ayana Koji in the early volumes, but she just didn't know that those were romantic feelings because she was just so oblivious? Yeah, Horikita is, yeah.